I'm on a flop of King Nine Deuce where you can be sea betting with anything. You basically I basically did. Oh my god. Word on the street is that Adam and Grace are back in town from Tennessee. And they're up at Hollywood. I think they're up there with rain delay right now. So, I might as well get to moving. Get the poker started now at 7 o'clock? I'm guessing. I'm just gonna start right off by saying, I feel fine physically. I'm just kinda in the mood to be sitting on the couch watching TV. And I'm rarely in that mood anymore. But I'm in the mood tonight to watch some TV. However, I just got word that the 2-5 game just started. It is Saturday night. Rain delay's in town, Grace is in town, Adam's in town, a host of other people are in town. And I'm gonna play. Note that I am fully aware that playing when you don't feel like playing typically doesn't end up very well. I'll risk it. I take risks. So even with all that being said about me really not feeling it tonight, trust me, I've had numerous sessions where I've had this feeling and snapped out of it as soon as I've been dealt a hand. Let's just hope that happens tonight. I do know how to pull the eject. What's that called though? Is that the rip cord? I know how to pull that thing and then get out of here. Let's just hope I don't have to do it. I'm trying y'all. I am just not feeling it today. I was hoping that seeing a couple hands would kind of snap me out of this mood. And it kind of sucks too, because Grace and Adam are in town. They're actually at my table. Rain Delay's in town, he's at my table. And I'm just not me tonight. I'm not on. And not on meaning like comedy jamming. I'm just not on, like I'm not present. I'm not, I'm not in sync with the table. I truly believe that most poker rooms and individual poker tables have an ebb and a flow that you need to get in sync with in order to be profitable in that room or that table in the long run. I'm normally very in sync at Hollywood. Like Justin Timberlake in sync. Tonight, I'm out of sync. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go back in there, and I'm gonna continue to give it the college try. Cause tonight's not about patience. It's not about being Job. It's about finding the sink. And I feel like I'm in the living room, and the sink's in the kitchen, or the bathroom, or the basement if it's finished. Anyway, I'm gonna give it a little bit longer, and we'll just see what happens. If I start to play bad because I'm not in sync, I'm out of here. What did I call it? The rip cord? The eject thing? I'm pulling it. And then we'll just get into some Netflix or something. The worst thing I could do is try to force myself to be in sync. That never works. Ever.
so uncommon for me to do this, but today I'm giving you guys a double mid-session update. <laughs> In my last mid-session update, you know, I was talking about I wasn't feeling it, I was gonna leave, maybe go to a 1-2 game, I just wasn't feeling like playing the pokers. But then, a hand happened where I snapped off the Mr. Rain delay, and that boosted my spirits. <laughs> And that boosted my spirits, and now I'm back in it. So there's a hand mentioned in the vlog that I didn't get any video recorded evidence of. But in this hand, Dan opens in early position to $20. I just flat on the button with pocket kings. The big blind calls. Flop comes jack of diamonds, three of spades, seven of clubs. The big blind checks. Dan bets 40, and I call. And the big blind calls. The turn comes the king of diamonds. So now there's two diamonds on the board and I have top set. The big blind checks again. Dan bets 120. I call and the big blind folds. The river comes the jack of hearts and Dan checks. So essentially he's giving up on the hand. There really are no hands that he can have that I would expect to get value from. So I try to turn my hand into what looks like a missed diamond draw. And I overbet the pot. I bet 450, but he quickly folded. You got something to say? Say it. Tell the people how you feel. You're just making full houses? That's fine. I mean, anybody can fucking make a full house. Anybody can make a full house. Nobody makes a full house like I make a full house. But anyway, the last time they were in town, you guys heard about Grace and Adam, and you've met Grace, but you haven't met Adam. Which kind of bothers me because I'm sort of like, what am I sort of like? A big deal. You're, I'm you're, sort, you're of, a big, sort deal. of a big deal. I'm kind of a big deal. You're my other half. That's it. So, Ross, regardless of what you want, I'm putting Adam in the vlog. for me to find out what I mean the right lay down that I have. I had a uh, king queen of clubs. Cut shot and hit it on the turn. You'll see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll see it. That's what I was about to say. You'll, you'll find out. I think I got that one. I don't get everything, but I think I got that one. Yeah, so it'd be useless to lie to you. Like <laughs> yeah. No, I, I saw you taking notes. Like yeah, that. yeah. He gave you three dollars for that hand, right? <laughs> if you're expecting me to help out with the run, you're in for a big surprise. Just convince me. Give me my dollar back. Hey, leave the dollars there. <laughs> <laughs> Is he 
you allowed to think that long and then raised with that stupid f***ing look on his face? I fold. Do you want to take that long? Middle-aged hot chocolate. <laughs> Middle-aged hot chocolate. <laughs>
is good versus Because I, I three bet you there, and if you have a real hand, you're gonna four bet me. Well, then why are you calling I that? I don't want to be in the four bet. Why are you calling? I want to see a flop because I I want to do exactly what I did to you. you Ten eight offsuit. It was like I could I could justify I, it more if it was suited. No, you where you get no, to no, if you were suited, and there was that suit on the flop. I could justify it more because you could turn way more equity. But your hand plays so poorly. Does it? Once you, yes, it does. I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell. I hate you. So I can't much. tell. So I pick up my I pick up equity on the turn. Yeah, like I said, you just fire away once blindly. You, once you play it this badly up to this point, you obviously can't fool once you hit a pair. Right. So you're gonna call. Because in a pair is could be good, easily good. Yeah, right. like it could be, it could be good at this point. Right. It could be good. Like I can yes. obviously have a real hand, but you're saying I, you I can't can open light, like, so yes, you, you can have a But if that's the case, I should be three. I, I agree your with hand you there. Plays so shitty. I should be three up. betting pre. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. I chose not to. <laughs> with ten eight, king nine deuce against you your running this? is the nuts. You hearing this? Any six, any seven, any eight, any nine, any jack, any queen. Firing on all of them. What are you gonna do? You're firing at all of them. I have the betting lead. How can you fire at all of them? If I you, have the betting lead. If you check, like if you check, if a jack hits, I'm never, definitely I'm betting. I'm never. What am I? What I am might I not bet a queen. I'm never checking to you. I think I proved my point. Maybe the call pre-flop was a little bit uh you didn't. ambitious, shall we say? It was ambitious. No, it wasn't ambitious, dude. It was bad. There's a difference between ambitious. It was an ambitious call. And then I punished him on the other streets, and he still doesn't understand. Even though I've clearly explained it to him. <laughs> but Let, let's let leave leave the comments. Leave oh the no, comments no, 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 in the section below. They'll just let me let me know what you guys just think. They'll just agree with you. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're 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 your your group, like your like fan base, right? Yeah. So I think you have. Oh, you think I have like home court advantage? I think you have home court advantage. I think you do. We'll see. So leave a comment in the section below and let me know what you guys think about Mr. Anyway, Mr. Burton's hand. Let's be result oriented for one second. I punished his ass and I won the money. Mmm. Mmm. You certainly have a good night because of me. Jack. And we have nine six. Nine. Nine. I suck out there. What's that? I suck out the whole way. It's not always about the cards, sir. Sometimes it's about the heart. <laughs> there was no version of me folding on any street. You know why? Because that heart. Sometimes you gotta have that gumption, you know? I wish you had a bad turn, she was gonna check right the shit Were you? Yeah. And you're gonna get it shoved up your ass. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On the turn where I made a pair, that's when you we're gonna check right? Okay. Trying to get me a fold of hand versus you is a negative EV proposition and you know it. You're better off just waiting for a hand and just value just value betting me to death. Because you know I'm never folding. Huh? <laughs> I'm never folding versus you. So just make a hand and just value bet. Just take me to value pound. King Jack. Have you learned nothing? It was student. 9 6 the hearts had 40% of a straight flush, pre. That's true, you did. And then picked up another 20% on the flop in the 10. You're almost there, yeah. Actually, I think I was behind. How'd you miss? I didn't miss. I just. All I needed was the 9. I knew that. There's no reason to get greedy. Like, why use up a straight flush there? You know, you only get so many in your life. <laughs> why use it up when all you need is a nine?
Yeah, I would have won. I would have flopped top set. Thanks for coming out tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. morning and I'm done so let's just get right to it because I think I got a lot of things recorded in the game for 1,000 out for 2,232 so a damn good night especially considering for the first three-fourths of the session, I wasn't feeling it. I didn't feel like being here, I didn't feel like playing, and I was really only here because Adam and Dan and Grace were here. I can't lie, I lucked into some good starting hands. I hit some good flops, most of them held. I did make a questionable play with pocket nines that cost me about $225. Me and Dan got into a pot where I liked my reasoning, he still disagrees with it but I won that. And as the night drew on, I kind of just widened my range a little bit, upped the aggression a little bit, and just kept raking in chips. I can't believe it's four in the morning. Not that four in the morning is, uh, is exceptionally late. It just doesn't feel like four in the morning. But like I said, good session. I'm getting out of here because it's late and I don't want to sleep my whole Sunday away because I have to go grocery shopping. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go grocery shopping right now. I'm going to go four in the morning grocery shopping. Say I won't. Say I won't go grocery shopping at four in the morning. Bet I do. I bet I leave here and I go grocery shopping. So let's wrap this up so I can get the grocery shopping done. Thanks for watching. If you are liking the videos, hit the thumbs up icon. Subscribe and get notifications and leave me a comment. I'll probably respond. Probably. So, it's a podcast? No, no. Oh. You can be on it. You want to be on it? I'm <laughs> playing <laughs> your face. <laughs> he, got, he, random. he got comfortable real quick. He's like, hey, what's going on? Whole lot of, uh, whole lot of, whole lot of. I gotta go, y'all. They calling me. <laughs> you got a free room? Yeah, you see me disappear? A six, a seven, right? I can easily represent a nine, a ten, obviously, a jack and a queen. All give me more equity. True? You can represent a nine that you can have a nine? Yeah, oh yeah. I have more nines in my range than you have. Well, yeah. Right. But does that mean I'm going to fold to you? If you like a nine you, comes... you specifically? Yeah. Uh, probably not. That's that's right. my point. Probably. It's like, okay. So take out the you nine. Take, you you right. take the okay. player into consideration. Yeah. So take the nine out. I tried to tell you, you didn't believe me, but I tried to tell you. I'll catch you later. <laughs>